Hello, good evening, Michelle. Hello, good evening, Michelle. Welcome to the class. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. We're going to wait okay. some minutes uh, till all your classmates join to this uh, video conference, okay? Okay. Hello, welcome, Evaristo. Hello, good night, teacher. How are you doing? Hi. I'm doing good, uh, sir. So we're going to wait um, just one more minute and then we're going to start with a, a video conference, okay, with today's class. Okay. Welcome, Jose Mariano. So, well, we're going to start with um, today's class. Um, I'm seeing that you're still joining to the video conference. I can see um, Ana Molina. Um, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the class. Uh, Jose Ramirez, Michelle Vidal. Okay, welcome to the class. So, um, we're going to start uh, with uh, today's class. And first of all, we're going to be reviewing some um, part or elements that we were discussing yesterday. Um, let me go to the following slide, okay. Uh, the topic that we were discussing yesterday was describing problems. So I want you to tell me, what do you remember about, about this topic, describing problems? Can you please share to me? You can, um, you can open your microphone, okay? So go ahead, if there is any volunteer. Uh, yes, I the yesterday I check in that uh, with past participle and adjective with describing a problem mm -hmm. and using an adjective and nouns. Very good. And do you remember what is the structure um, of the um, well, the structure that we're discussing about describing problems using past participle as adjectives. Okay, anyone else want to share that to us? The structure is uh, the D plus okay. past participle. Yes, okay, that's a way that we construct um, the sentences. Very good. Um, I remember that you were asking um, in the WhatsApp group, some of you had problems with um, answering uh, the exercise that you have in the, in the platform, okay? 
So uh, something that we must consider when com uh, completing the exercises that you have there is that you have to write just the answer. Um, sometimes you have to include the, the subject in, in the answer, but if, if the sentence that you have there uh, is asking just for the complement of that sentence, you are going to write the complement. Let me show you uh, the platform. I will share to you the platform. And we're going to check some, um, some exercise, just one exercise, because you have to develop all of them. But we're going to check just one, OK? I will stop the sharing. And then I will uh, show you. I will show you uh, the, the platform, OK? Give me a second. Let me. OK, here we have. And well, we're going to go to knowledge check. And if you notice, in the sentence number one that we have here, it says this table clock isn't very clean. It, and then you have to write your answer. Can anyone uh, here help me with the answer? What could be a possible answer of it? It has a stain it's on it. Stained. Okay, very good. So, um, if we're if we have the subject here, we don't need to repeat it. So we are going to write. In it, okay. Um, sorry, I missed the the verb has I stain in it. So you can check the answer there um, in your platform and, and you're going to be developing the following exercise. But remember, as I told you, because this was one of the <coughs> most uh, repetitive questions that you were asking in the forum uh, about solving this exercise. Remember, if we have the subject or, or the pronoun or a noun here, we don't need to repeat it. Uh, the same happened with uh, the exercise number two. In this case, we don't need to write this one in the box. We are going to write just uh, the, the possible answer, okay? The rest of the sentence. Um, oh, another thing that, that, that you have to consider is that this exercise has different uh, possible answers. So uh, if we want to use the topic that we we're discussing yesterday, describing problems, um, using has, we can do it. But also, we can use describing problems using a past participle as adjectives. Okay, you have those forms to complete this exercise. Um, do you have any question right now about this? I have a question, Tisha. Okay, go ahead. I, I did I did an exercise on platform, but I didn't do the number three. But no. I think that it, number three, I, I think that it, the sentence has had a, a, a mistake okay. in the case of the verb. But I, okay. I, I tried to, to to I try to do the, the the exercise, but I didn't do. Okay, I remember that I saw one comment in the in the WhatsApp group, and there was a problem while writing and the while completing the, the, the exercise. Why? And because in, in this sentence, you have to take into account that we're talking about wood, and wood is a plural noun. So um, if you notice that when we're talking about plural nouns, uh, we are also referring to plural um, nouns in the sentence. In this case, uh, I saw that you were writing, let me check in the, in the WhatsApp group. Give me a second. Uh, let me check. I saw that not a mistake there.
Okay. Um, I saw that the sentence, it says, has a scratch, okay? Has a scratch. Try to uh, do it with plurals instead of uh, using singular, okay? Okay. Anyone else has a question? Uh, teacher, uh, I have a problem with the number six. The number six. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Tell me. Uh -huh. Okay, I have tried uh, so many times, but uh, I, don't, I don't have the, the correct answer. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, what is the answer that you have? Okay. The sentence is um, the number six. Okay. The walls, the walls really need painting. Okay. Period. Okay. And, and the ceiling is mm -hmm. damaged. Okay, but uh, in this case, the sentence is correct. So okay, but I, what, is, what is the problem there? Uh, let, me, let me turn around the camera. He chose. I, I, he chose well, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me pin this. In my case, I put is damaged, and I think that is the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct answer. I don't know why um, it's, it's checking wrong. Maybe it could be the period. Maybe it could okay. be the period that you are using. Try to, try to do it without uh, using periods. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me, let me try. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The signal is a slope. Okay. Now is correct. Now is correct. Okay, so uh, that's a problem that uh, it ha the, the sentence uh, has. So, um, but remember that when we're finishing a sentence, it needs it needs a period. But in this case, um, uh, in the possible options that you have in in the, in the platform, it doesn't have it for that reason. Is that uh, when you write uh, is damaged, period, it's wrong. Okay, but you are writing in, 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 a, in a right way. The, thing, the problem here is just the platform, okay? So, but don't worry. Uh, well, we're going to, uh, so uh, anyone else has a question? No, teacher. Okay, very good. So we're going to continue um, with the today class. Let me share to you the PPT. Okay. First of all, um, we're going to be um, watching a video that it relate to germs and uh, also how we use it with the verb need, keep, and we are going to see uh, what is the passive infinitive in context using the verb need and germs. Okay, let's see. But first of all, we're going to watch a video. Uh, so I will share to you um, this video right now, and you are going to identify. Um, the gerund 
that is shown in, in, in the video. Give me a second. Uh, okay. The topic is it keeps burning. Okay, go ahead. Tell me if you listen uh, the audio of this video. Uh, okay, it's not working. I will change it. Give me a second. Okay, there you have. Please pay attention to, Get to the video. practice the conversation. Page 38. Exercise 6. Conversation. You notice another technical? It keeps burning. Part A. Listen Hello. and practice. Has it ever happened to you that everything yeah. goes wrong? Sometimes everything needs to be Hello? fixed. Because Hello, everything Ms. keeps Locke. on breaking. This is Jack Now Burr. listen to the conversation. Can you listen to and the audio? What happened In to apartment 305. Don't forget oh, to practice yeah. the conversation. Yes, but it sounds too... Does your refrigerator hey, you have again? No, not the sir. oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Uh, I well, I think the temperature control needs... This is a problem. Sorry. We're going to stop one of them. And we're going to watch it here. Okay, so pay attention to this. Hello, has it ever happened to you that everything goes wrong? Sometimes everything needs to be fixed because everything keeps on breaking. Now listen to the conversation and find out what happened to these people. Don't forget to practice the conversation. Page 38. Exercise 6. Conversation. It keeps burning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. <laughs> I don't listen anything. Should you stop the audio? No, he didn't stop the audio, but uh, teacher, we cannot listen very well. Okay, we're going to stop there. Um, tell me, what is the problem here? What is the problem of this tenant? I didn't listen. Hello, can you hear yeah, me? you complete. We didn't listen. Um, okay. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, but okay. the conversation, I don't listen very well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But okay. Uh, in this case, you can check the the audio later in the platform. Uh, what we're going to do right now is to identify in, in the in this conversation. You have the, the 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 script here, right? You can see the script. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So in, in this script, I want you to tell me what is the problem of the tenant. Can you identify it? Mr. Burr has a problem with the oven. Okay. And what is that problem? The, the temperature control needs to be adjusted. 
the temperature. Okay, it's control needs to be adjusted. Uh, okay, very good. What else? Okay, let me ask you in this way. What is the problem that he is reporting to uh, Miss Luck? The oven keeps burning everything. Ah, okay, so in this case, we identify the problem. The problem that he is um, <clears throat> sharing to Miss Luck is that the oven keeps burning everything. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's see, uh, we're going to listen the second uh, audio and in this one, we don't have a transcript. You have to pay carefully attention to the audio and then uh, you are going to identify what is the problem, okay? Is the, the instructions clear? Yes. Okay, very good, so go ahead. Okay, let me know if you can now listen to the audio. Tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? I don't listen. Teacher, I don't know, but in my case, I didn't hear nothing about the audio. Okay, so we already listened the audio. And then tell me, what is the problem that you can identify in this um, conversation? Teacher, the audio, I didn't listen very well. You didn't listen? I don't it? understand the problem. The audio that... is the problem. Ah, uh, okay, nothing. okay. We don't hear anything. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Give me a second, I will try to fix it. Okay, I will play the audio. Uh, I will share my screen uh, and let me know if you can listen the audio well. If not, if not, if not working uh, in, a, in a good way, uh, so just tell me. It's locked. What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights, or is it the appliances, too? 
Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. You notice? Okay, uh, tell me. Do you listen to the audio? Yes. Okay, very yeah, good. Yes. So, please tell me, uh, what is the problem here? She tell us about the pro that electricity because I she doesn't um, work light. Okay, it's not working. The electricity going off. Okay, the electricity it's going. Oh, on. it it keeps going off. Okay, it keeps it, it keeps going off. Very good. Um, let's see. I will share to you right now in the slide and we're going to be working on it. Give me a second. So, um, we're going to be talking about describing problems too. That is the second topic that you have in a platform. Uh, first of all, we're going to know the uh, objective. And it says that at the end of the sections, participants will learn to use and comprehend the use of keep and knit with journals. We'll also be able to practice knit plus passive infinity. Um, let's see. First of all, uh, can anyone here help me to read this slide? So I, I can learn. Okay, go ahead. A gerund is the ing form of a verb that functions the same as a noun. For example, running is fun. In this sentence, running is the gerund. It has just like a noun. Okay, very good. So, uh, we're talking here that a gerund, um, it can take the form of a noun. Um, there are some verbs that when we're constructing a sentence, like in this case, uh, the verb run, if we add a urine, this can work as a noun. Running is fun. That's the sentence that we have in the slide. We're going to see this in the following examples. First of all, keep plus urine. Um, in the conversation <clears throat> that we have in the platform, it says everything keeps burning. Can you identify um, which word is the, is the journal here? Morning. Morning. Okay, very good. But in this case, um, it's working as a verb or is working as a noun? As a noun. As a noun. Okay, very good. What could be the verb in this sentence? Kids. Okay, Kids. very good. Very good. So take um, take note of this. Then we have need plus your. Uh, can anyone read this sentence for me, please? Adjusting. Okay. The oven need needs adjusting. Uh, what? What? Uh, I mean, which one or which word is the gerund in this sentence? Adjusting. adjusting. Adjusting, very good. And in this case, um, can we identify which word is the verb that we're using to construct this sentence? Needs. Needs, very good. So we have here two structures. The first one, 
that we can form using keeps, and the second one that we can use using uh, need. So when we're using keep, um, it's because we are reporting a problem that it refers uh, to a repetitive action. Can you give me please um, another sentence using keeps and using a, a gerund? Taking this, uh, this definition into account, remember that keep refers to a repetitive action Let me see. I don't know, maybe it's possible the cell needs fixing. Okay, uh, very good. But we need a sentence using keep. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, let me see. The kit is, I don't understand very well, but try to explain. Uh, keep is when you use a report and a problem. And need is when you use that preparing the, the problem. No, no, no. With the thing. Okay, okay. Let me let me interrupt you in this in this part. Both are used to report problem. Both. Okay. Okay. Keep and need. But keep is used when uh, the problem uh, happen again and again. For instance. Oh, yeah. Okay, for instance, okay. the sentence that we have here. Like, uh, the, the internet uh, keeps fixing. Fixing, um, yeah, could be. Uh, maybe or if we- the, Or internet keeps repairing again. Okay, could be. Um, in, but, but let me, let me um, help you with this. Using the same sentence, okay. an action that could be uh, repetitive, um, we can construct in this way. The internet keeps going on and off. Oh, yeah. Okay, because it's happened. Okay, the, um, another the sentence. Okay, it's repetitive. It's going on, going off. Um, can you help me with another sentence that the action that is happening, it's re it's repetitive. It's in doing. It's working in in uh, in the same time. I have one. Okay, go ahead. The light keeps lining, shine and dark sometimes. Okay, very good. Yes. The action in this sentence is repetitive. Okay, let's go to uh, the sentence using it. Okay, in this part, when we're using needs is because um, something is wrong, okay, and needs to be fixed. Can you help me with another sentence using needs? The, the, fuse, the fuse box needs to be checked. Okay, very good. So in this case, uh, we're using needs, but we are not using the gerund. So what could be a possible answer? Remember, we are reporting here a problem and we are using need plus gerund. What could be um, the correct structure the of that sentence? Box. The fix box needs to be checking. Um, in this case, the, okay, the um, needs can be used as passive, that is the other thing that we're going to see in the next, in the next slide, but we need to construct um, the sentence using a gerund. Uh, let, me, let me help you with it. 
we have the sentence, the fuse box needs checking, okay? Because remember, urine is when we add to a, to a verb, the ing form, okay? It's clear or not? Yeah, clear. Okay, so we're yeah. using the verb needs plus a urine. And the urine is formed with the ing uh, at the end of the verb. Maybe the kitchen needs fixing. Okay, needs fixing. Very good. So, uh, and then the other thing, you, you already mentioned this, but in this case, when we're using uh, the passive uh, actions, in this case, the passive infinitive, um, we can use the verb to be plus the past participle of that verb and also means the same. Okay, if we use need plus gerund and if we use uh, need plus passive infinitive, both means the same, okay? So instead of saying uh, it needs to be adjust, we can use it needs adjusting, okay? So we can change it. Um, can you help me with it? Uh, can you give me an example using passive infinitive? The television needs to be adjusted. Okay, very good. That's a good example. Uh, can anyone else help me with another sentence? Let me check. The light the needs to be fixed. Okay, yes. That's the sentence that we uh, already uh, see before. Uh, I will check the chat here because uh, uh, I see that you're sharing something. Let me see. Oh, here we have some examples. The fuse box needs to be checked. Okay, that's the passive infinitive. Uh, the light needs to be uh, fixed. Okay, that's a passive infinitive. And also Carlos Herrera, uh, he said, my car needs to be checked. Okay, very good. So in this case, if we change that, um, that sentence to, um, uh, to the structure that in, in where we, we use the verb, I mean, yes, the word need plus a gerund, could be uh, my car needs checking instead of the uh, instead of using to be checked. Is it clear? So we can construct it in both in, in both uh, ways. So to be checked or checking in both means the same. So we are going to do an activity right now. We're going to go to uh, the break of rooms and you're going to be working in, in a discussion with your team. What could be some uh, possible improvements that you uh, want to do or you may do to your home? Let's see. Um, I will form a group of uh, four people. Let me see how many. Um, oops. Let me check the chat. Okay. Give me a second. I will stop sharing. Okay, some groups, because we are in um, 13, uh, you're going to go to the breakout rooms and some groups will be composed by four people 
and others with three people. Uh, you're going to discuss, okay? I will be moving from one group um, to during this um, time and I will check in uh, what could be uh, some of the, of the changes that you may do to your home. Remember that we are going to uh, use the structures that we have been discussing in this case. Uh, we're using uh, the structure kit plus yarn. We're going to, we are going to use the structure knit plus uh, yarn and also the structure of knit plus um, passive infinitive. Okay, is it the instructions clear? Yes. Okay, very yes. good. So, uh, you're going to have 10 minutes because I want you to, um, to discuss, uh, take some ideas, and then you are going to share to the rest of the class uh, in the general video conference. So, I will open the rooms right now. Please join to the groups. Just click in OK or join. Michelle, can you move to your group, please? Okay, very good. My better need to be ordered. Order. Okay, hello, good evening. Uh, in hello, good evening. So, uh, remember, if we're going to construct a sentence, we need to use the gerund. Uh, if not, we're going to use need plus infinitive, uh, or I mean, passive infinitive. Uh, and when we use the past infinitive, we need to use the verb to be, okay? Because I was listening to the sentence that, that you were sharing. Uh, can you repeat it again, please? Your back I say, uh, oh. Adela? I need to be order my butter. Okay, your back needs to be ordered. Okay, that's your sentence. Yes. Okay, in this case, we are using the passive infinity. So, how we can construct that sentence into a, the structure need plus your? What could be the option? In this case, it could be my backyard. I need it's ordering my butter. Uh, we have to change it. The ordering. Positions. Okay, my backyard needs ordering. Okay, very my good bad. that way. Okay. So, uh, okay, thank you. Anna, um, you were sharing yes. your sentence too. Okay. Yes, I tell us um, I need. To be rep repaired, the salient. The salient. The salient. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this case, we can change change the positions. Remember that in this case, we're using uh, the subject at the beginning. And how we can do it? In this case, we can use the salient. Needs. To be repaired. Okay. What kind of sentence are we using there? Are we using kid plus gerund? Are we using need plus gerund? Or are we using need plus passive infinity? Which one? 
the last one. The last one, right? Okay, very good. So, uh, construct some sentences and take uh, some ideas and you're going to um, share um, some, some changes that you want to do to your, to your home uh, during the general beauty conference, okay? So I will okay. move to another group. Thank you. Okay, my number is seven. Yes. Nine. Six. Zero. Three. Six. Nine. Eight. Nine. Okay. Anna. Yes. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. teacher. We are. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Hello. I'm here. I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> we are two Wendy's here. Yes, teacher. We are discussing about the uh, things we have to improve okay, in our uh, house. And uh, is here. I will move to another group. Ana Carolina, are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, I mean, Ana Molina. Yes, teacher. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, I can listen. Give me a second. Maybe it could be my computer. Ana Molina, are you there? Yes, teacher. Wendy Cuella? Yes, I'm here. Uh, I don't know why I can't you I, I can listen, I cannot listen. Give me a second. Maybe it could be my computer. Hello. Hi, Hi. Teacher. Hi teacher. Okay. Ah, uh, now it's working. So um <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I can't listen. Um I don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, tell me, are you working in, in your sentences? What are some of your changes to your home that you want to do to your home? What Peter, in that some? moment, I try to formulate uh, a little conversation about that. Okay, try very to good. Explain that sentences okay. in a conversation. Okay, very good. So I will move to another group and I will check uh, how they are working. Okay. So okay. See, okay. You. see you. See you. Um, are you okay? Oh, oh. Hello. You are very... Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. And I'm you? fine. <laughs> I'm fine. So, uh, are you working um, in your sentences? So yes, yes, we, yes, yes. We share some of of sentences that we have. Okay, very good. What are uh, those changes that you want to do to your home? Teacher, I, I have one sentence. Okay, but go ahead. I don't know, okay. know if it's correct. Okay, the tell sentence me. is I need improving my internet. Okay. Um, yes, but we can we can uh, we can do a change here because in this case we need the subject at the beginning. So in this case, we can use the internet needs and improving. Improving. Okay, very good. Improving is a, is a, a correct word. It's a word. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the the he asked if the improve. Is uh, improving is a verb. Improve, improve is a verb. Yes, it is. And what, what does it mean? What does it mean? Improve in this 
in this context context and the internet needs improving improving yeah. i think improve uh, it, like change it's like, like it, it means like updating uh-huh it's like updating uh, okay ah okay okay i got it i got it okay mm -hmm. hey it's it's new 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 vocabulary Uh, okay, I have I have one. Um, same. Okay. Go you finish? Oh, you finish? Hello. No. Um. He finished. He finished. Jose Ramirez. He finished. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. So I I will move to another group to check uh, the workings. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, see. You. Great, 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 great. We have hello. Uh, two. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, you already finished your exercise? Yeah, we write yeah, some, yeah, we finish. some sentences. Okay, very good. So, um, what are those changes that you want to do to your home? The sentence that, that, that we made. Yes. Okay, the number one, the selling keep leaking every winter. Okay, very good. So uh, we can construct a, very good. So I got it. Uh, so also we can construct a, a sentence using a, the verb need plus a urine based on that sentence, okay? To report a problem. Uh, because in this case, you are reporting uh, the problem. Uh, and in the other sentence, you are taking an action of that problem, okay? So how we can do it in that way? I, I I didn't understand the shirt. Okay, so in, in the first one, um, you are using the verb keep, okay, because the problem is uh, repetitive. Right? Because it's happening every winter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, you can construct a sentence using um, the verb need plus a gerund to express what is the action that you are going to do to um, solve that problem. Ah, okay. The selling keeps leaking every winter. So I have, so. Uh... So the selling needs to be checked, for example. Next to be, yes, exactly. So, okay. you, you notice the first one, you are uh, expressing uh, what is happening. And in the second one, you are expressing the action that you need to do to-, to The solution. To, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so, okay. Very good. So I will uh, move to another group to see the work. I will see you in the general uh, video conference, okay? Okay.
Okay. Uh, can you listen? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Yes. So uh, we already know the structure. Okay. Um, what we have to do right now, now we're going to, to be uh, uh, discussing about the 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 exercise that you were solving. But what we have to uh, do right now is to identify um, in the structures that we have some of the germs that we can use uh, to construct a sentence. Uh, when we are uh, writing or uh, creating a sentence, we need to take into account um, some words that can be used a year as gerunds, okay? Um, and in this part, I have to tell you that no all the words can be used as gerunds. Why? Because um, some words that are used as gerunds, they become nouns, okay? They are nouns. And there are just a few verbs that can be used as known. And in this case, um, in, using the structure of a uh, gerund that is adding the I and G. Okay. Uh, in the platform, you're going to identify some vocabulary that can be helpful to you to identify what are those uh, verbs that can be used as nouns using the structure of a gerund. Let's see. Now we're going to solve, um, I mean, we're going to discuss the exercise that you develop. Tell me, uh, what are some of, the, some of the changes that your classmate wants to do to his or her home? Do you identify some of them? Can you report those problems? Uh, excuse me, uh, the problems about what? About the, okay, so uh, we were discussing during the breakout rooms um, some of the problems that may, maybe you want to, I mean, you want to um, improve or solve in your home, okay? So, it's supposed that you create a sentence based on it. Uh, like uh, if you want to do some changes to your oven, like if you want to do some changes to your uh, air conditioner. So it's supposed that you create a sentence. Can you report that sentence to me right now? Like giving me two or three examples that uh, your classmate mentioned. Okay, I have the, the sentences. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the first is internet needs improving. Okay. The second is my computer needs to be checked. Needs to be checked? Okay, and, very good. Yeah. And my shoes need to be questioned. Needs to be? Washer. Washer. Okay. Okay. Very good. So. Um, the kitchen needs cleaning. Okay. Go ahead. The kitchen needs cleaning. Ah, okay. Very good. My TV, my TV screen keeps freezing. Okay. Good. The floor needs to be changed. Okay, very good. So we um, already shared some of those exercises. Is there any? Is there someone who wants to share with us in the sentence that you have, or you think is enough?
Okay, so um, we are going to, I, I will share to you uh, some in the WhatsApp group, I will share to you some of the verbs that can be used as verb. Uh, that's an extra information that you can take into account. Um, and it could be helpful to you to improve your vocabulary because um, I, I've been checking some of the sentence that you have and there are some words that can be used or cannot be used as uh, nouns during uh, uh, those sentences. So, but I will share that information to you via uh, WhatsApp. And right now we are going to start with a, with a conference and I will ask you if you have any questions uh, right now, you can, this is the, the right moment to do it. So, and I will answer. Uh, I'm okay, thank you. You're okay. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. I'm okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Uh, Carlos Herrera? Yes. I'm okay, teacher. I'm okay, too. Okay, so uh, you have the, you have uh, the right hand. Oh, my, my mistake, sorry. Okay. So, if, if it is okay, I will uh, close the video conference right now, and uh, then I will Did share you... to you, sorry? Can you repeat the instructions? The instructions? Uh, about what? Yes, or the activity. Oh, the activity. Um, the... Uh -huh, the last thing that you explained. Uh, you mean the activity that they develop during the breakout rooms? Hey, sorry, uh, excuse me. I, I think that Nectadi asked about the, 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 the words that you said uh, you are in in the WhatsApp. Ah, okay, so I yes. will share. Thank okay, you. okay. Nice. So don't worry, just I will sh I was telling them uh, that I'm going to share uh, some, some uh, um, verbs that can be used as noun, and that is a, a, a vocabulary that you can use it while structuring uh, these kind of sentences. But I will share that information in, in the WhatsApp group, okay? And you can take it into okay. account. Okay. Okay, so. thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. see you tomorrow, guys. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Good night. Have a nice night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.